Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another sequence video. I'm just kind of going through, you know, the backlog of um, instances where this is found. So 2 Timothy 2, verse 1. So 2, 2, 4. Right off the bat. Um, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. So this first reference is my son, you know, and then these are, um, you know, the God's children. And so God's elect. So we have a reference to grace being offered to God's elect. And so this is a coded reference to salvation. Now, verse two, and the things that thou, that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. So now we have a coded reference to witnesses. The same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So this is now the time of the two witnesses. So this reference is coded, but it's amazing, you know, because most people will read these and I want to maybe give uh, new insight to people when they read the Bible, read them for what it says, of course, but it's prophecy. Right? It's it's a loop, you know, literally a, a Bible prophecy. And in the last days, that's what I realize now that the entire Bible is encoded that way. So now we have a reference to my son, you know, or God's children, the elect finding grace and salvation with Christ. And then we have a, a reference to witnesses and they're going to be faithful men, Moses and Elijah, who shall be able to teach. Okay. And then now we have a coded reference to Christ returning with his elect as soldiers to, to, to destroy, to kill. Verse three, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Okay, so they're going to have power in this situation. So no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. So the chosen are God's um, soldiers, they're his army. Okay, and that's in 2.4, you know, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4, 24, 44, okay? Verse 10, therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake. So now we have a reference to the elect returning as soldiers to destroy. And their word will eat as doth a canker of whom is Hymenius and Philatelus. And so the word will eat, will destroy, okay? As doth a canker to destroy. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure having, his, having this seal. Okay, this is a reference to being sealed. The Lord knoweth them that are his. So they're sealed. Okay. That's God's elect. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Come out of her, my people. Don't be partakers of her sin. So the elect will do that. Verse 24. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach and be patient. That's in verse 24. So this is the characteristic of God's elect, the servants. Now in verse 26, um, this is destruction. 26, 66. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. And so this is them destroying, you know, the works of the devil. God's going to destroy them that destroy the earth. And that's not a coincidence. That's in verse 26, 66, everybody with the mark of the beast. So even in 2 Timothy 2, there's numerology and then um, it's coded language. But to me, if you know the sequence, you're going to see it everywhere. And then so you have a reference to salvation also in the numerology, 2 Timothy 2, 2, 2, 4. Then witnesses being faithful men who can teach, who know things. Okay, it's not, I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll see kind of thing. No, that's not the way they're going to answer anything. Then we have a reference to the elect being good soldiers of Christ and the chosen elect again. And then now the word will eat, will destroy. Okay, and then Christ is the word made flesh. Okay, and then, um, you know, then we have another reference to God's elect. And then we have a reference to them destroying, you know, in verse 26. So 2 Timothy 2 also has a sequence. Hope everyone else is well. Bye.